Hey YouTube, John with Grunt Reviews here, and today we're doing uh, another tabletop review. This one is on the Century Arms C39 V2. Um, this actually is an American made uh, AK platform rifle. Um, before we go any further, guys, please go down below, click that like button, click that subscribe button. Please leave a link. It helps us with the YouTube algorithms and uh, allows you to uh, see our content as it comes out. And so we'll get into it. So, you want an AK, but you don't want to deal with 922R import or anything else. You buy something American made. Thankfully, in today's day and age, that is possible through Century Arms. So, the C39 V2 is a 7.62 by 39 AK platform rifle with a milled receiver made here in the States. There's a couple different versions of this. I believe they have a wood version, they have an MOE version, which has the standard Magpul MOE stock, and they have the Zucob version. This is going to come with the front Magpul furniture as well as the Zucob collapsible and folding stock. Um, the other really nice feature of this rifle is it does come optics ready with the side mount. Here I have the Century Arms uh, uh, Red Army Standard um, optics mount on the side with a Sig Sauer. This takes anything in that uh, aim point uh, style footprint. Um, the other side of this too is there's a few other companies that are making some lower uh, co-witness mount type stuff or something to mount a uh, LPVO type optic on it as well too. Um, it's an AK. Uh, reliability wise, I can't say anything different. This thing has shot everything I have put through it and then some. Um, some cheap steel case, some high-end expensive brass stuff, mixing them in the same magazine, running them back and forth no jams, no malfunctions. Um, it is what an AK is uh, supposed to be. Um, it just takes it and keeps eating it. One of the things I really like is it actually does come with Century Arms um, flash suppressor slash compensator. It's a little bit of both. Uh, does a really good job uh, with the flash and works very well as a compensator too. Um, this rifle is very easy to shoot fast. Um, the other big feature that they put into this is their uh, Red Army Standard Trigger. So we're going to measure that out and see where that leaves us weight-wise. And she's empty. We'll rack it forward. We're going to be using, of course, our Lyman Trigger Gauge here. And we're going to line this up. So, 5.35 pounds on the first one. And, whoops. Right at 5.35 on the second one. And we'll give her one more whack here. and 5.6 on the third. So it is about a five and a half pound trigger and from my personal experience with it, that is about where it's at. It is a two stage military style trigger. So you have an initial take up, you get to that first wall and it is a nice smooth break at that five and a half pound mark. There's not a lot of creep, not a lot of feel, just your take up. Boom, nice, easy, clean break, and a nice, positive uh, AK style reset, for lack of better terms. So, very solid trigger. I wouldn't say by any means it's a match grade trigger, um, but for a, uh, for a service grade type rifle as the, uh, as the AK is, um, very solid out of the box. Um, accuracy wise and with the ammo shortage um, I have not been able to go out and shoot a group um, but it is kind of what you expect from an AK it's about a two to three MOA gun um, 
It is consistent though. So whether you're using Wolf, Tull Ammo, um, or you're using a higher end brass case ammo, hunting rounds like that, it's very consistent in that two to three MOA range, which for a service rifle is more than acceptable. Um, the other thing I do want to talk about is the stock. So if you haven't seen one of these, it is Magpul. It is a side folder and it also oops, is collapsible. It is a little bit of a pain. You really have to kind of dig it in there to adjust it. Um, that has gotten a little bit better as it is broken in. And the other nice thing is you do get uh, several points to add QD attachments in the rear, a QD slot up front. And then of course it does use M lock on it as well. Guys, uh, this, this kind of wraps it up. Um, if you're looking for an AK, the Zukov is actually off their website right now. I believe uh, MSRP was around 1058 on it. Um, I believe these are now somewhere in the vicinity in 2020 of eight to 900 sales price. You could have them for as low as 700. And as you get into the Woodstock and the more standard ones, they are a little bit more affordable. Um, normal street price is about 600, give or take. Um, but like I said, it is all American made. It is a milled receiver instead of a stamped receiver. So it is a little bit heavier than what you think of as a traditional AK, that old stamped receiver. Um, but this thing is built like an AK-47. So if you're considering getting into the AK game, um, this, is a fantastic way to do it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Like I said before, click like and subscribe. Train hard, stay safe.